It's your boy C Rob. We are back with another episode of Explicit Content. Today I got my boy Miles. How you feeling today, Miles? I'm feeling good, man. How you feeling, bro? I'm good, bro. So today we're gonna we're gonna dive in. We just had PTSD drop. We had my turn drop this weekend. Uh, a lot of stuff happened this weekend. Miles put on Twitter that it was one of the best weekends in hip hop in a long time. So we're gonna dive into it real quick and then let me talk about some other topics as well. So starting sure. off, uh, Herb started off PTSD. He said, "I do this for the haves and the have nots." You feel me? That, that was a pretty strong statement in the intro. Right now, I feel like the intro is an important, you feel me, dynamic of the, of the game when you drop your album. Like, right. Meek Mill set a standard with Dreams and Nightmares. So, you feel me? For Herb to come on, he came off strong. I, I feel like intro is one of my best songs on there. Or, so, you feel me? What you got to say about the about PTSD? Well, I mean, just to talk about the intro, man, I mean, it was on brand for me, you know what I'm saying? Since Herb dropped Welcome to Phaser Land, his intro, you feel me? Hey, he come out strong. He set the tone for the whole album type shit, you know? So, uh, you know, hey, it was on brand for me, man. I love PTSD, man. It did what I wanted it to do. Um, I'm really just happy of the, all the love he's getting, you know what I'm saying, from, like, everybody in the industry type shit. Like, everybody posting his album, you know what I'm saying, saying they rock with it. So that's yeah, what I'm I saw that him and Baby had posted, like, and then Herb coming, like, I was just going to post that shit, bro. That's what then somebody, like, this is what hip-hop is supposed to be. About. Exactly, that's that love. Shit. So, yeah, now nah, that's love. So what's your favorite track off the album? That's tough. So I ain't going to lie. I'm flip-flopping between Lawyer Fees with Polo G and that gang bang, cause I ain't gonna lie, that gang banging, he came on there too crazy talking about put over the cat on the side of my shit, but it ain't no jag. Like I ain't gonna lie, he came on talking too crazy. But uh, shit, I, I fuck with lawyer fees too though. You feel me? Cause Polo G just, you feel me? His hook making yeah, skills is just yeah. ridiculous. It's a smooth ass song, but shit. how you feel about the song Shooter? <laughs> we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna talk about shooter G. I ain't gonna lie. Every time, bro, I play the album I, since it came out. I play that shit straight through. Every time I hear that so beat nah, come on, shooter one lost his start this morning. I was looking on the tape and shooter lost his. Why the fuck did have a start to begin with? The intro, glass in the face, and PTSD got to start. So we gonna back on, go back on PTSD. So okay. the, the tape of the album or the name of the album is called PTSD, Post Traumatic Stress Fact. Disorder. Um, you feel me? That's big all over the world. That's big in the black community. You feel me? It's big. What you got to say about PTSD in the black community growing up in Chicago? Man, so I think that's really one of the other reasons why I think a lot of people from the crib, or especially myself, fought with the album so heavy. Because it's like, I think for me at least, you feel me? Like, you know me, you feel me? I never, I ain't know, you feel me? I ain't no gang man right, right. making no shit like that. You but really, it's like. Me? I just put that on camera. Me and Miles, we, we knew each other for a couple of years, you feel me? Prior to the interview. Um, bro, this is, I've known Morris since a long ass time. But um, yeah, bro, but it's like, even with that being said, like, you feel me? I've had, you feel me? Like, 10 people I know die, you feel me? Like, and I'm, and I'm not even a nigga that be, you feel me, in the streets doing no crazy yeah. shit like that. <laughs> That's what I be saying. And it's like, I think post-traumatic stress is a real thing, bro, because, like, little certain things are, like, coming out, you feel me? Like, being scared of your surroundings, that's not a normal thing for, like, normal human beings, you know what I'm saying? But for, like, a lot of people in Chicago, or just, you feel me, black, black communities in general, it's a normal thing to kind of, like, be cautious all the time and all your heels, you know what I'm saying, and suffer from that shit. So I fuck with her for, you feel me, you know, taking the stigma away from you know what I'm saying? Because, like, everybody know that shit true, but, like, nobody really talk about it. So I fuck with her for, you feel me. Why you feel like we don't talk about it? Or is, you think is we scared? or I think I think a big part of that is, like, you feel me, it, it shows that we vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? And like, a lot of black men, you know what I'm saying, like, that's like a one of the seven deadly sins, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be vulnerable and, like, show that you can be affected by some shit. So that's why we don't really talk about it. Like, even her, to a certain extent, didn't even really, you feel me, go all the way no, deep I with mean, it because he was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, like like we was talking about before, you feel me, off, it's, it's some shit on here that didn't drop. You feel me? And that's for a reason. Like, facts. Like, it was too deep. Like, exactly. Exactly. So, uh. With the song PTSD, you feel me? It got Chance the Rapper, Juice World, um, and Lil Uzi and then Herb himself on it. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that feature? Like that's that's a that's a heavy mix up right there. Hey bro, I swear to God, cause you know how you dropped the track list before yeah. you dropped the album. Yeah, we talked about yeah I seen that shit. I'm like, hey, yo, what the fuck kind of mashup is this? Like, who the fuck would put Juice World, Chance, you feel me, Uzi and him on the song together? But it actually turned out, you feel me? I, I fuck with the song, you know what I'm saying? Uzi verse was kind of whack. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> no, I mean, I think when you get the features, that just come with like a, a lot of part of the, the label work. And then Herb is nice. it's independent. So, so we don't really know for real. I, I think Machine is 100% independent label. But, you know, Facts. with the independent label, they get that independent money too. So that means a lot. But, you know, when labels come in and they do independent work uh, or when they do this type of work with albums, they want to put a lot of features on the tape. 
And you feel me? And you know what I'm saying? Try to reach those those audiences. It's like I see he brought back BJ the Chicago kid. Right. I ain't right. heard BJ the Chicago kid on a, on a popping album since uh, for a Chance, minute. For real. Exactly. For real, so, for real. Um, and then I seen we got 21. He gave one of the best verses. That was one of my favorite 21 verses ever. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Before we go to the 21 shit, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get some love to channel real quick, bro. Oh yeah. Channel, I ain't gonna lie. Chance been tweaking, you feel me, on the music tip like hard that big day. That shit was low key ass, but like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. But like he did his thing on that on that verse though, I ain't gonna lie. He can he went back to this shit, you feel me, that niggas from the crib really fuck with him for, you know what I'm saying? He was that in between of he, he has that flow too, that exactly he about that ah that you yeah. feel me that shit back. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Chance shit was valid too. So also this weekend, uh, off the herb tip, we had little baby drop. You know, he dropped my turn. That's mm-hmm. supposed to be, you know, big and baby book. Uh not his first debut album, but you know. After street gossip, that's that's supposed to be it. What you think about Pete or my turn? How you feeling about that? So I it's grown on me, you know what I'm saying? Like at first, you know, I was got a strong it. twenty songs. So. I, yeah, I got like, a super strong twenty songs. Like that's a lot of fucking songs type shit. But um <laughs> for the most part I like it, man. You feel me? I, I he he's he's been a long he's he's been a long way longer than I thought he would be. I ain't gonna lie. I, like when he came out, I'm like, all right, baby, he valid. Yeah. To the you know the first episode we made, I put the video the, the clip of little baby in there. Like, yeah, I seen know, that. We, we yeah. ran to him in the West End. Like, yeah, that's when he like, yeah, I'm, I'm out here. Like, yeah, so fact, yeah, no, he, man. but now he out here, bro. Like, I seen uh, academics tweet some shit. It was like, yeah, he finna sell like 190 thousand copies first week type shit. I'm damn, but it, it's a it's a good little tape for me. Show his versatility. You know what I'm saying. Uh, shout out my nigga Forty Two Doug. You feel he me? He getting the recognition. He, he finally he getting his love. Type his shit. Love niggas like, damn, this nigga Forty Two Doug hard. But niggas been showing me shit for like two years. I ain't, gonna, hey, I ain't been, I ain't been rocking with it. But niggas been showing me his shit. He been around. Hey, shout out Detroit as a whole. Them niggas snapping like for real, for real. It's right crazy because you know back I said like four years ago, freshman and my roommate was, roommate was from Detroit. Zoo. Facts, yeah. And he used to always play like dope boys cash out all this. I'm like, nah, bro, this not it. Like, why y'all wearing them glasses? <laughs> like, right. I'm nah, fine, nigga. Every nigga in the rap game got some Cartier. You feel me? Oh shit, let's talk about that. So um I saw this morning, uh it's not even on the topic, but this morning, Cashier Quan went at it with Lil Pump. And you know, we had put the video in there. He said Lil Pump stole his sound. Let me see, let me see. We're gonna probably show you the video. Stop saying nigga, Lil Pump. First off. So, yeah, so Lil Pump came on. He took Cashier Quan, TJX6. If y'all don't know who TJX6 or Cashier Quan is, them the Detroit scam rappers. That's a new, new style of rap. Um, they got the little Detroit wave, but you know, the little rap that don't make sense. Like, right? <laughs> Cashier Quan. <laughs> rap that don't make sense. Niggas, but I just scammed a homeless nigga, Church's Chicken. Like, yeah, like, just saying cool. anything. Yeah, nah, but I mean, it, it's been working for them. And you see that Lil Pump, you feel me? Obviously, stole that sound. So, Cashier Quan took us to IG this morning. He's like, yeah, Lil Pump, stop stealing our flow. Then he swiped over, put the video. He said, "This me, this been me and TJ style since the summer." Mm-hmm. You feel me? And he even used one of our song captions in his picture. Mm. So you feel me? I, how you feel about that? So I, look, okay, I'm gonna say this. So how you feel about this situation? And then you feel me? Because it's not the first time we've seen this happen. We've seen this personally with Valet. You feel me? Valet was Chicago's own rapper. You feel me? He came out with that whisper flow. Then you started to see Six Nine took off with it. Every every nigga took off with it. So how you feel about rappers stealing flow? Or you feel me? What can you steal a flow? It's 2020. Mm. So, so it's it's tricky for me, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's a thin line between like inspiration and just like jacking a nigga shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, like um, like shit. The uh, uh, the Drake song that just dropped today. He that stole, nigga. quote unquote, stole Eminem Superman flow on that bitch. But it's like, yeah, but that's that's why I was, I, I ain't want to t- t- chime in on that yet because we gonna get that. Drake, uh, Drake fault, is known for stealing flows. But yeah, yeah, go ahead though. Yeah, but no, I mean it's a thin line from that shit, bro. Like as long as you showing love type shit, I, I don't think you can really steal a nigga flow type shit unless it's like on some you steal it and don't say nothing. Like if you give like a slight eye, like I, right, this is where I got it from, bro. Get put me on. Then I guess it's cool. But none of the rappers are doing that. <laughs> yeah, then, then, then that's when it gets tricky. Like, for a nigga like Lil Pump, like, that's a nigga who, in my opinion, he's not a talented nigga off rip. So he got to do shit like that. So too, that's, you know that's what, what I'm saying? Be telling you, like, I remember, 
you know, I was DJing and shit. So Facts. I remember it was a, it was a point in my my DJ career. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm not playing no little pump. I'm not playing no six nine. Like that was just me. Then you feel me? Look at this shit now. Like they're goofied out. And I remember it was so many DJs trying to treat me like, bro, you got to play it for the crowd. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. It was just in me as a person. Like nah, I can't do that. <laughs> for, I don't and mean that's it. the thing. Niggas gave them niggas chances, but I never forget. I never forget. So hey, niggas don't give my nigga Lil Tech a chance too. Though. Hey, shout out Lil Tech, man. I know that's your homie, man. He, he go crazy. Though. I yeah, follow Lil so. Tech. Hey, I got a question for you though. You brought that DJ shit up though, yeah. real quick. So like, how do you balance between you feel me? Like you said, niggas were telling you to play Lil Pump. You feel me? Six nine, playing what niggas want to hear, but at the same mm. time playing some shit that you know not type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's that's. I mean, that's the that's the worst part. I was DJing last night, and you know that's. People coming up to me like, hey, can you request this shit? Like, or can I play this shit? I got to request it. You know, and niggas coming like, I got ten dollars. Let me hear this. So you feel me? It just, it just like, cause the thing is, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely, you know, what I'm saying I've been DJing for over, I don't want to, not ten years, but you feel me? Real vet since shit. high school for real. You real know? vet. And it's like over the time, like, you know, like I don't want to say like you get so good, but it's called a, your set. You feel me? Like your set, you are gonna be doing that shit. You, you got a Friday set. You feel me? Saturday set, house party set. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got so many sets now, like. I can just go, you feel me, dig into a set from 2016. I know how to get it like that. You feel me? Like, that's my set. Like, you feel me? So it's like, your song is going to come. You feel facts, me? Facts, facts. I don't know how to put it. Like, Wait your song is going to be played like, before the end of the night, I promise. Especially if it's hot. Yeah. Like, niggas was saying, like, hey, bro, play this, little, play that new little baby. Like, duh, bro, I nice. got the little baby. It just came out. You know I got it. Like, patience. It's hot. Yeah, so facts. I said this if you listen and you, and you, you put in a request every weekend in the club, like, your song is gonna get played, I promise you. Unless it's some super weak shit that nobody heard. Like <laughs> niggas be saying, like, yeah, play play uh I ain't gonna lie, when the mop first came out, like twenty nineteen, it's like, hey bro, play the mop. I remember about DJing on New Year's niggas like play the mop. I'm like, no, I'm not playing that. Like, Listen to that shit in the cop. But the mop though, that shit is a club banger right yeah, now. Nah, <laughs> put your left hand on top. I ain't gonna lie, that dance so crazy. I, I can't tell a lie. Yeah, bro. That's I just, can't that's tell just a lie. The, that's the game, bro. Nah, facts. So Yeah, bro, back on the um like you said, back on the wave with still and flows. We got Drake. Drake last All song right. was War. Uh, you know, after the the rise of Pop Smoke, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. After mm-hmm. the rise, rise of Pop Smoke, we saw that uh, a lot of rappers were starting to get on that 2012 drill wave from Chicago. Hey, and, hey, thank God you said that, bro. I swear to God, bro, because I'm like, when, as soon as you were saying, I'm like, bro, I'm finna hit a nigga with like, bro, give credit to Chicago because everybody's saying the UK drill. DJ Ken. Man, shout out DJ A, hey, bro. You want to hear a funny ass story? Nah, go ahead. Tell your DJ Ken I got to tell you a funny ass DJ Ken story. Ken story. So, you know, you feel me? Me and my homies, we rap back at the crib and shit like that, right? Well, you, oh, I used to, but they still do. You feel me? Shout out LMGOT, Iggy, Marco, all them niggas, man. But, um, so anyway, we in the studio, and uh, some nigga brought up DJ Ken, and my nigga Mark was like, yeah, man, rest in peace, DJ Ken, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a real legend. Everybody in the studio, like, Nigga, DJ Ken not dead. The fuck? He like, well, DJ Ken died. Boy, I seen that shit on Facebook. You feel me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. He got shot. And like, man, whatever, man. So we go downstairs to a other studio to go with meet with another engineer. Bro, tell me why we in there chilling. Nigga, somebody say, hey, yo, uh, Ken finna walk in this bitch. He like, no, it ain't DJ Ken. Bro, tell me why this nigga DJ Ken walk in high as hell after we was just saying back from the dead. Back from the dead, bro. Real shit, bro. Walks in, bro. We all look at him, bro, and get to crying, laughing. We like 15, 16, too, bro. We get to crying, laughing. He, bro, what the fuck so funny? You feel me? Like he like niggas just laughing. He like I ain't go. Niggas who don't know DJ DJ Ken, he's an Asian. You feel me? He's Asian like, dude. Oriental man. Oriental man. <laughs> <laughs> but like he he bro he got black man but he grew around black that shit's hilarious so he walk in he like what the fuck so funny yeah 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 I just step I'm like hey bro I ain't gonna lie my homie Mark says you was dead bro nigga Mark was like yeah I thought you was dead bro Ken like no I ain't dead that shit was hilarious bro but yeah no nah, shout out DJ Ken no nah, I'm not gonna I remember a few times like that was just like fake fake some culture shit like niggas could say you dead and social media could make you dead before you. Actually, you tell me you had a chance to say you did all that. Exactly. I remember that shit happened a few times in high school, and you know what I'm saying? Just, just being around type shit. Exactly, exactly. So you say y'all was like 16 uh, when y'all was making music and stuff. Did you ever, you know, how did that work for you? Did you ever get a mixtape out or a full project or what, Miles? So me personally, I, I did like, you feel me? I hopped on like, I want to hear like three songs type right. shit like that. I wasn't never, I, I was I was one of them niggas, you feel me? I was just, you feel me, behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? 
I was I was all right. I ain't really I ain't really go too crazy enough. But like my homies, they still doing that shit, man. And they and they oh, see, go ahead, shout them out. Yeah, yeah. LMG OT, you feel me? LMG Iggy, Freeway Marco, uh, D Will, you feel me? That's some of the guys, man. The whole LMG collective, you know what I'm saying? They still doing yeah, their thing. YouTube, we can, we can check yeah, out man, go check out. You feel me? Freeway, just Google uh, YouTube Freeway Marco. You feel me? YouTube LMG OT, LMG Iggy. You feel me? Just let that put that shit on shuffle. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't the type of nigga to gas weak niggas, bro, nah, but yeah. them niggas, I'm real life, bro. I remember the LMD days. Mm, bro, um, bro. So, we talking about young rappers and stuff. Mm. Um, young Boy just dropped his second, or his first project this year, second project within the year. Modern Day Wayne, I said what I said. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, they both from Louisiana, so you ain't too far off, but, you know, how you feeling about Young Boy new project, still flexing, still stepping? Hey man, you you know how we feel about Young Boy, man. We just got, bro. Let's talk. Let bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Young Boy, man, he. He's different, bro. So that's like, that's the thing. I be I be gassy, young boy, and then niggas be saying I be gassing a lot of niggas, which is not true. If your shit is weak, I'm not gassing it. Like facts. I only put you feel me, a hundred percent behind what it needs to be. Like young boy and his new project, I'm just put it like this. Me and Miles both agree that whole tape is damn near freestyle, and you feel me? He excelled on that motherfucker. Excelled, bro. Like, like real life, yeah, bro. Like he just dropped AI Young Boy two. You feel me? Damn. His best project, in my opinion, but. Still flexing, still stepping is not far off type shit. So where would you rank AI Young Boy two in with PTSD in my turn? We let's do a top three real quick. Whoa, damn! So that's his best project to date, <clears throat> and it's still within a year, so it's damn eligible for a right, Grammy. It, it definitely eligible. It should, I ain't gonna. I should be. Grammy. You think Young Boy getting get nominated this no. year for the Grammys? No, they gonna give it to like what's a nigga who drops some shit. It ain't came out yet. It's gonna be some. It's gonna shit. be some nigga. You feel me? That's white people like. That type shit Like let's be real Like Grammys is like That's why they I fuck with Tyler the Creator You know what I'm saying and The whole Igor movement bro But like That's not even really rap music If you ask Tyler bro he He'll tell pop. that's not he rap music bro. Album. Like, It's just Like he said They see black people Oh that's rap But I'm gonna disregard that Top but, three If on them Um I'm gonna have to go My turn is definitely third It's definitely between PTSD and, okay. and uh, I can see I, that. Young boy for one and two, <laughs> but you can't pick that number one spot. Uh, <laughs> I go out. Give me, give me. I know that's a cop out answer, bro. But give me, give me some time, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie. For AI hey, Young Boy too, I found a new yeah. song on that bitch that I, I fucked with. I was with, about like, to say PTSD dress dropped this weekend. Um, so we, it's really too soon to rank it because, like you, like we said earlier, my turn still growing on niggas. Mm -hmm. Herb ain't really dropping no visuals yet either. Exactly, the visuals, that changed the vibe of the song. For me, visuals is a huge part of the album. Like I remember when Kanye West dropped, uh, damn, graduation, and he had stronger and shit. I'm like, whoa, stronger is a ten times better song now. Cause so you feel me? I just remember like my whole life music videos changed the whole perception of the song. So you just gotta let shit marinate too, bro. I know PTSD right. marinate. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it now. Um, Thanks. Put it in your brain. Fast. So, PTSD, G Herbo, G Herbo, ex baby, or his baby mama. Still his baby mama. You can't take that away. It's 18 years. The she real cow sister. The real cow sister in the club this weekend. We're going to show you the video. Okay. Show the video. Um, so, <coughs> Ari in the club, you feel me? She got booked. How much, first of all, how much do you think Ari tried to make it book? Mmm. Alright, so, so that's, what would you pay to book Ari? I was gonna say that's two different questions. What niggas paying them, what I would pay. I ain't gonna lie, for some shit like that, you feel me? The club's selling out type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I say she getting a good. Maybe five to seven K. Alright, then you feel me? If anything else, that's OC, but. It might be, you know what I'm saying? New clubs making a lot of money. So I'm gonna try to find out. I'm gonna try to find out. Oh, bro, right, that's, so, that's probably information. So let's say you pay. Now, nah, Ari's been booked in Atlanta a couple times. That's what I'm saying. You promote it. Like, niggas is paying that shit. So look, you can find so it. let's say you pay Ari 5 to 10K. Um, more than 10K side. Oh. She, she come in the club and she just stand. You know what I'm saying? When you when you book somebody in the club, so you know you gotta give them five to six bottles. You gotta light their section up, right. let all their homies in. So that's another loss of about two thousand dollars right there on the right. Like that you lose. So let's say if you do all this, and already just standing there. See, I'm gonna say that's the other thing though. Not only are you it's like for like someone like that, you're not paying them just for yeah. her. You're paying them for her gimmick, quote unquote. Right. right. So that's what I'm about to say. So you pay Young Thug a little baby or a little baby or something to come through. You feel me? You can either pay them to perform probably one, 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 two or three songs. You feel me? They probably got a package like 
Feel me? Fifteen thousand one song, twenty thousand two song. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So you paying that for that, you know what you get. So when you paying Ari for a, a walkthrough or a club appearance, what do you get? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like you paying this for what do you think? You looking for the Instagram videos of us shaking hands? I can't tell about you. <laughs> so in the video, we started the DJ was a little. I'm not gonna lie, he was a little rude. I'm a DJ. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'm a motherfucker. I'm a motherfucker. Cause she do got a son, and I, I'm sick of people bringing your shine and this shit. That's her son. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Real shit, bro. Like her, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I, I'm not your son. I'm not even though that's her son, bro. bro. Like real shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. One of these days, her ain't her. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, 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 you know this is the energy you're putting out. This is, this, is, this is what motherfuckers like. When you think of Ari, bro, you think I'm shaking her ass, bro. Like, she, like, I see motherfuckers on Twitter that was like, yeah, Ari got a stripper, you feel me? But it's like, shit, the content. A lot of you bitches not stripping. Y'all shake ass every day. You know I'm saying, so, like, bro, this is like, look, so Miles gave his point of view. I'm going to get my point of view from the, from the DJ. So go okay. crazy, bro. If, if niggas tell me that we booked Ari tonight, I'm going to put together the best twerk mix of my life. Bro said, hey, Ari, I need you to shake the room. And <laughs> she looked at his ass like he was goofy. Like, no, like, yeah, nah. you feel me? We finna shake the room, bro. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, mother let me know in my head that Ari's coming and you feel me? It's gonna be a twerk time. Twerk time. And it's not that, so I'm twerking. Twerk. Now, now I'm going through my crazy so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah, no, nah, she, she definitely, I ain't gonna lie, she definitely, I ain't gonna say that she old, man, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's, that's expected. Bro. That's what you do. That's bro. what you do. You get on Twitter and shake your ass for free. Now we paying you some problem. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That, 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 was, that, was, that was a little strange. I ain't gonna lie, but you know what I'm saying. It's all good. So, uh, before we get out of here, Miles, last weekend, me and Miles went to Mardi Gras. Shout out to Nola, man. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna chime in on the flag right there. Yeah. We got the flag in the crib. Yeah. Mardi Gras right the holiday at my house. So, look, Miles, uh, we're gonna insert Shout the Shout out to K Money, too. Ooh, insert the video right here for Mardi Gras. You feel me? All right, Miles, so. How you feel about Mardi Gras, bro? Is that your second time? Yeah, second your time. Second time, my third time. You feel me? What you gotta say about Mardi Gras? What else is left to be said about it's, Mardi Gras? It's, it's, it's a holiday in New Orleans. It's a, I don't know, it's, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. holiday. Right? It's definitely a Miles holiday now. So yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, every year type shit, if you wanna know where I'm at in the month of February, I'm in Mardi Gras. I'm March type shit, yeah. Because it switched every year. I ain't gonna lie, nigga, tell me, like, bro, I wanna go every year with you, but I never know when. I'm like, bro. It switched every weekend. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta look at the day. Hold on, we finna Mardi Gras 20, 20, 21. But nah, bro. Mardi Gras, bro, like, man. Listen, Mardi Gras 2021 is February 16th. It's earlier next year. Yes. <laughs> but hey, we oh, will be there. Be there. Catch me there. February 16th, 2021. But nah, bro. Like, Mardi Gras, man, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, so, I don't know about you, but like, the whole experience up until Tuesday was crazy, right? You feel me? Like it was, it was lit. You feel me? Like I loved it. You feel me? We was dying every day, type shit, like real shit, bro. Like I remember Shorty told me she like, yeah, you might want to save your shit for Tuesday. Cause I remember on Tuesday, I'm like, yeah, bro, you can take me home. Man. Yeah, bro. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Wait, why are you be saying that sound? My father got left and left. Oh, man, you got to shut up and tell us what you want. Yeah, you got to shut up. No, bro. Oh my God. When we actually were in New Orleans, bro, you feel me? Like, shout out, bro, shout out, Kale. Yeah, shout, shout out, Kale, out Kale, you feel me? Yeah, the film culture. Really having us, you feel me, in the older type shit. But, like, nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That Fat Tuesday, that Zulu Parade, bro. That's what like, you see, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. If you never seen the Zulu Parade, you
that Fat Tuesday shit, bro. Like, that's some shit I ain't never seen. Cause I was it's like, like the blackest shit I ever seen. Cause in it's my like life. you go to Mardi Gras, you get fucked up with all these white people every year. Mm-hmm. And we did that, like I said, two years. You feel me? Three right. years. But this is the first time I've been to the Zulu parade, and I was just like, whoa, like right? some shit. Like I seen you feel me, the, the black mayor. You feel me? They had a morehouse float. I don't know if you peeked. I saw the picture later. Yeah. You know, you show y'all the hey, it's like, bro, it's like, it was so black, bro, and like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, listen to this visual, bro, we, in, in the ninth ward, bro, the whole, the, if, I, if I'm getting my, shout out to Kev, shout out Kev, if I'm getting my geography wrong, you feel me, excuse me, type shit, but no, we was in the ninth ward, bro, eating buckets of crawfish out of cooler, bro, drunk as hell off the Virginia Black, shout out Drizzy, shout out Drizzy, with the young boy in the background, folk. No top. <laughs> Smoking dope. Like, eh, eh, like, I mean, that's all I gotta say, bro. And then we met, bro, we met one of the night for the finest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, if you ain't got a thousand, you can't fuck with me. You ain't got a thousand, you can't fuck with me. He said he been on the run for two years. <laughs> he said this nigga ain't got no phone. No phone. He ride a bike because the license plate is a tracker. <laughs> he said I could have bought phones. I could have bought cars. But I like bikes. I put a thousand. <laughs> he said each ram is a thousand and the bike is a thousand and stuff. So that's hey, you should have seen this nigga bike. bike, G. But nah, yeah, man. Mighty Brown was a definitely a time to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a time to be alive in the words of Drake. For real, for real. So, Miles, anything else you, you want to put on the platform before you leave out explicit content? Ooh, ooh. Anything else I want to know? That's a big year for you. We got graduation this year. Oh, yeah, um, man. For the get up out of here, man. Any other plans you got you want to talk about? For me personally, my hopes. My hopes for like after graduation. Yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to go on. So, it's looking like I'm going to go into like sports marketing, you know what I'm saying? I think I had this little year day with the Chicago Cubs, you feel me? I ain't been, I don't be telling motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like saying shit before us, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, I think that's why I'm finna be working in Chicago with the Cubs. Um, or the New York Giants, those are the two clubs I've been, you feel me? In communication with the type shit. Um, but shit, man, I'm just geeked for this next chapter, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this, this college shit getting stale, you know what I'm saying? What would you guys say to anybody watching right now who's about to enter college or you feel me? For, we're just looking four years of high school, about to graduate this May. Ooh, like my sister. Shout out Morgan, you know what I'm saying? She finna go whatever college you live in Rocky, you know what I'm saying? But um man, I think I'd tell them, bro, like, real life, bro, like, take advantage of that shit, bro. Like, I know that shit sound corny as fuck, bro. Corny as fuck. But like niggas told me four years gonna fly by and I laughed at their ass. Laughed at their ass and I look silly. Bro, he was just <laughs> You feel me? He was just in Brazil. I was just in LLC, bro. Like, and now we finna get up out this bitch, bro. Like, like that. Like that, bro. Like, that's the thing. I'm your little sister, right? I didn't know she was going to high school or college and shit. Bro, she's my little sister. Definitely about to be a junior. Yeah, <laughs> she get. I want to go to the house. Yeah, she's talking about she wants the same list, bro. Oh, so that's an hour, bro. Yeah, no, that that's like, crazy. Yeah, that you put your mental around, like, bro. Like, just take advantage of that shit, bro. Like, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Never. Now when you feel me leave some shit, I'm gonna do that shit tomorrow type shit. Oh, I'm gonna do that shit next year, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm gonna talk to Shorty next year. You know what I'm saying? For like for no bullshit though, bro. Like for real, for real, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, this one thing I was I need to spend a lot more time at Clark. <laughs> a lot more time at Clark. If bro. I had one more year at Clark. Oh man. One more year on 350, you know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we I ain't gonna say too. But that's all good, man. I appreciate you for joining me today. Explicit content. Of course, man. Good looking for okay, having uh, me, bro. Other people know where they can catch you at. Um, you feel me? You can follow me on Instagram at oh no casino. O H N O C A S I N O. You know what I'm but saying? Before we get out of here, I gotta ask you the question. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. But these are the questions I ask everybody. Let's we, do it. Before we get out of here. Let's do we it. We got a book too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't cut this part. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> How long we been we been on? We got explicit content. We pull out the book. We got Chuck D's Day in Rap History and Hip Hop History. So we you know we already picked that out. I'm gonna go with March third. Uh, March third, Fifty Cent released his album, The Massacre. It dropped on Shady after Math Records. You remember that? March third. That's uh 2005. I ain't gonna be a nigga that lied to you. Hell no. <laughs> So, yeah, I, know, I, I, I was a big 50 Cent fan. I remember Bulletproof. I had the video game, uh, and so I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Facts. The, the game was all Bulletproof. Facts. Right? Yeah. 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 The game was all Bulletproof. I remember I had yeah, that. Blood and Sands game. That, that was one of the most gruesome games ever. Blood and Sands? No, uh, Bulletproof. Bulletproof. Oh, Blood and yeah. Sands was too. Yeah, that was second. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but Bulletproof, I don't know. My, my, I, I ain't gonna lie, I might not have been allowed to have Blood and Sands because I remember 
My grandpa, he called me playing that shit. He said, Boy, what the fuck is this? Bro, that shit was wild, bro. Bro, I remember he literally walked in. I was gutting the nigga with a chainsaw. Like, I'm, I'm down there. It was 2005, so I'm down there five, six. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So, shit, man, before you get out of here, though, let me ask you these questions. These questions we ask every guest. Uh, gotcha. So, first question light skin or dark skin? We talking about women. Light skin or dark skin? And I need you, I know I need you to come like this, you feel me? It's a whole bit, so. Okay, okay, yeah. last year, dark skin. Uh, dark skin. All right, ooh, Michael Jackson or Prince? Mom Jackson. WWE or UFC? WWE. Louis or Gucci? Louis. Adidas or Nike? Nike. Power or Empire? <laughs> Power, fuck <laughs> Empire. <laughs> Weak ass shit. Flats or drums? Flats. Wigs or song hands? Song hands. Mets or Yankees? Yankees. Socks or Cubs? Come on now, I'm sorry. But the Cubs, yeah. J. Cole or Kendrick? Hold <laughs> oh, no, uh, Kendrick. Florida Tyson. Florida Tyson? Yeah. Tyson. Adidas or Nike? Nike. Alright, we're gonna get crucial now. The baby or Lil Baby? Lil Baby. Alright. Wigs or Sowings? Sowings. Last one. Jay Z or Kanye? Oh, wait, one more. Jay Z or Kanye? And we're gonna get real hot at this. Jay Z or Kanye? Kanye. From the crib. Alright. Pac or Biggie? Last one. Biggie. Easy. Alright, yeah, for sure. Yeah, every yeah, every week I'm picking Busy. Biggie, that's what you got in there. Every week we live. Supposed to content for dropping every Sunday. Got my boy Miles. Thank you, Miles. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Turbo Crowd. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter at Turbo Crowd every week. You're. Okay.